Haptic technology is increasingly becoming popular in a wide range of applications. Optical encoders are commonly used for position measurement in haptic devices, and the velocity is usually determined by backward differentiation using the sample position data. The reliability and speed of such numerical differentiation influences the quality and fidelity of the behavior displayed. Optical encoders, by nature, quantize the measured value. This signal is further sampled by the digital controller, which can have up to a quantization step error. When it comes to backward differentiation, this error is magnified by the sampling frequency, which produces significant noise. If the noise is not properly filtered, it will be fed back to the control force and will cause severe stability issues. The key question remains, what is the highest sampling frequency which results in a reliable estimation? Adaptive frequency differentiation, AFD, introduces a new filtering method when the differentiation is always done at the optimal sampling rate. As a result, the velocity estimation will be fast, reliable, and noiseless. This increases the maximum allowable virtual stiffness and virtual damping of haptic devices, and improves their transparency and stability. To illustrate this experimentally, we employ the 2D graph freedom pantograph from Quantzer. We consider the example of the case when a falling ball hits the ground. For this, the endpoint of the robot was assumed to be a virtual ball, and a Kelvin void wall was modeled to represent the virtual ground. Employing the AFD to fit back the velocity resulted to have a passive virtual wall. This figure compares the filter velocities from the AFD in yellow and a low-pass filter in pink during the experiment. Zooming into this data shows that the AFD estimated the values with a shorter time delay. We can also check how the frequency of differentiation was changing for the AFD during the experiment. Now let's redo the experiment using a second-order low-pass filter. This time, because of the time delay, we experienced high-frequency oscillations. As the frequency of oscillation increases, the time delay of low-pass filter becomes more significant, making the system active. Generally, in digital control, virtual springs are always active. Virtual dampers rarely become active, but they do not dissipate as much energy as they're supposed to. More time delay in estimating the velocity reduces the efficiency of the virtual damper, and the overall spring damper system can become active. This develops a better sense of touch, especially in the highly damped virtual environments.